Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, just click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. Two clicks and you're subscribed and it's free. Now, is there a family out there who doesn't enjoy a little breakfast for dinner every once in a while? I think most families have done the meal flip-flop a few times. A simple plate of eggs, bacon, baked beans, even a stack of pancakes with syrup for the evening meal just puts a smile on everyone's face. But I know that we can do better than that. One way to create uh, dinner from breakfast ingredients and keep the meal special is with a breakfast casserole. Now, sounds weird to say casserole for breakfast, but I first found these about oh, 25 years ago, maybe a bit longer, when I was catering for a church camp and I needed an easy to throw together but really tasty and cheap because we were catering for a church camp, breakfast ideas. And I've been hooked ever since. In a breakfast casserole, the eggs provide all the protein you need for a dinner and then you bulk it out with leftover or sad vegetables and it's not only a delicious option, but it's frugal and it's healthy. And um, did I mention that they're easy? Because they are. So many of them can be done in a slow cooker, so you can't get much easier than that for a dinner and that makes them ideal for busy days and late dinners, kids playing sport, you're home late, whatever. And even if someone in your family claims they don't like eggs for dinner, a breakfast casserole is going to make a believer out of them. Now for this, this show, we're not going to talk about serving pancakes or even scrambled or fried eggs as, as dinner because we all know how to do those. We're going to talk about casseroles. Because casseroles are they're familiar, they're comfort food, they're a dish that most people understand is served at dinner time. So this may even help a picky eater warm to the idea of breakfast for dinner. Now, my family, we love breakfast for dinner. Everyone thinks it's a treat. And they, they really don't understand when I tell them that you know, I'm just cleaning out the fridge or I'm having a bad day, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I'm running late, I just want something quick and easy. The boys especially um, seem to love this sort of dinner. I think it takes a place of takeaway for them and I'm all for that. I like it because it's almost a no-brainer. If I'm, if I'm really tired or very rushed, breakfast for dinner can be thrown together in under five minutes and job's done. That leaves me free then to focus on other things until the oven timer dings. And dinner's on the table. And I mean literally on the table. I put the casserole dish straight onto the table and everyone helps themselves. Now we can look at the frugal aspect of serving breakfast for dinner. Eggs. Eggs are an inexpensive source of protein and other nutrients. Another factor is using leftovers. Making a breakfast casserole can be a great way to use up food that might otherwise be thrown out. Remember, just recently I've been talking about stop composting. This is a way to stop composting. Um, that last serving of broccoli is sitting there staring at you day after day in the refrigerator. So rather than throw it out, throw it in with the eggs and you have the beginnings of a breakfast casserole. If you need more ideas, I am full of them. <laughs> Perhaps you had fajitas for dinner the other night and you've got a little bit of steak left and some capsicum, a little bit of rice. No one's going to eat it. It's just sitting in the fridge. But you need to use it up. So what else do you do with those leftovers so they don't end up in the garbage? 
you make a breakfast casserole out of them. So you put the steak, the capsicum, grated carrots and diced celery, toasted croutons, a little bit of sage, mix in the eggs and you've got a totally different dinner. And you've saved yourself from tossing those leftovers and you've created an original meal just by adding eggs and a few other ingredients that you've chosen. Use, I suggest you use a variety of fresh vegetables like broccoli, tomatoes, spinach, um, zucchini, cauliflower, green beans, corn, sweet potatoes to create your breakfast casseroles. And if you add in a layer of potato or whole grain bread or croutons or crushed wheat bix or crushed crackers or potato chips, even cooked rice, that will bulk it out. Think of the flavours you like together, put them in layers in an oiled baking dish and bring them all together in one meal, just by adding eggs. If you're looking to cut back on how often you serve meat or poultry for dinner, a breakfast casserole may well be the perfect dish. Eggs are a great replacement for meat because they are protein rich and they are cheap. If you're adding milk and cheese to your breakfast casserole, you're bringing the calcium level up. And there's no reason to eat meat seven days a week when you have eggs that will do just as well. So create filling casseroles using eggs two or three nights a week and you could save quite a bit on your grocery budget. And there are plenty of options for ingredients to keep those casseroles interesting. So next time you're looking for an inexpensive, filling, healthy meal for dinner, think about turning some of those familiar breakfast foods into dinner. The eggs are an excellent solution to the problem of what to serve for dinner that's healthy and frugal, but you don't need to fry up a few eggs for dinner. Get creative with other ingredients and create a breakfast casserole or just a casserole that fits right in with your family's tastes. We talk about comfort food a lot. Well, what's more comforting than a frugal but nourishing casserole? So it's time to think. What would you put in a breakfast casserole for dinner tonight? Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer any questions you might have. And if you know someone who might like this video, just click that share button to send them the link. Three simple things you can do, like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and to be recognised more easily. And the easier it is for us, for people to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Now I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very soon. But until then, happy cheapskating everyone.